kind of the vibe I'm getting from Haley is that I think Haley Baldwin Bieber, whatever her fucking name is, um, is threatened by Selena Gomez because Selena is single as fuck. If Selena was married with a kid, I think she could kind of feel a little bit like, okay, I don't have to worry about her coming after my man. Do you know what I mean? This is Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe, share and like and turn on the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. I like to have a lot of fun on my channel. I'm a psychic empath. I do a little life coaching, a little gossiping, a little psychic reading. And I like to call my viewers alienators. So let me know your thoughts and feelings and complaints in the comment box down below. I answer every question. I'm available for private readings. And I'll see you guys in my next video, which is tomorrow. Bye, alienators. Hello, my alienators. Welcome back to my channel. New subscribers, welcome. I look a little crazy today on purpose because I need to wash my hair and I want to do this video and hence why I look like this. So <laughs> anyways, I wanted to do a video on Hailey Bieber because um and lately it's been coming up a lot um by other channels and the gossip channels and things like that about like how she constantly is talking whether it's the instagram live or their facebook live and things like that she's constantly kind of alluding to selena gomez or talking trash about selenators and all of that and i just think it's so interesting and ironic because like i've never ever seen i don't know if it's anything out there but i've never seen selena gomez say anything about her or justin i think whatever she addressed in regards to promoting her her new album and her music was about what she went through her personal life this past couple of years and of course the different radio stations that she went on and things like that i guess i'm just jumping into the video um the uh the uh the different you know places she was going on and promoting her album obviously they were trying to get it out of her like what you know is this about justin da, 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 da. and finally it came out and she talked about it and she was like yes i was emotionally and verbally ab abused in my previous relationships and they were like who are you talking about and is it justin and she's like if you want to put a name to it sure so but even even in that way she didn't really like address it like she didn't throw justin under the bus in that way there was no direct like um attack on him she never mentioned Haley. she never said anything and um, i just feel like it's just ironic and interesting because i know you know a lot of people uh can see that that like, she's a hypocrite basically but it's just ironic that she constantly talks about selenators she constantly talks about alluding to selena gomez and things like that and then uh but then she thinks like social media is toxic and that you know people are just like they need to leave her alone they need to leave her marriage alone and they need to just like you know let it be and just move on and these kids are obsessed with justin and the whole thing but if you go back in time and you know she's talking about selenators being obsessed with justin bieber and 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 and, and selena gomez right and she's talking about how you know get her life get your own man da 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 and uh but if you go back in time because my viewers they send me so many clips that i don't i never put any videos on my video i don't put any of these clips and things like that in my videos because i don't want my videos to get copyrighted i don't want to get a strike and all that good stuff but you guys already know i'm sure you can go find them i get a lot of dms from you guys with these clips of like back in the day between you know, justin and selena there's this clip that i got from a viewer that um Justin is trying to get in the car with Selena, right? It's like 2000, I don't know, 14 or something. And uh, and all the fans are like around him and stuff and they want autograph and pictures and things like that. And you see Haley like back there as a groupie fan, okay? And she's, you can literally see it. Like I was gonna in insert it in here, but I just don't wanna get in trouble and copy all that shit, right? So, but maybe I'll put it on the, you know what I'm gonna do, you guys? I'm gonna put that clip on our uh, Facebook page, uh, Facebook group. I keep calling it Facebook page, Facebook group, Alienators. You guys can go watch it there. I just don't wanna put it in my videos because of YouTube and they're you know super strict about things like that. So, because of, you know, because my channel is monetized. So, um, she, you, so the video is really interesting. So it's show, showing Justin and stuff, right? And then Haley's like in the background and she's like one of the girls that are screaming and trying to get his attention and things like that. Even though they were friends and they met, 
but this is when they were really really young and she and then the, the video I don't know who did this the editing and stuff but it zooms on her and she's just like all looking to see like Justin and stuff and then Justin's getting in the car with Selena and it's like you've been you were used to be one of those obsessive fans you were obsessed with Justin Bieber. You were obsessed with Justin and Selena's romance. You've talked about it openly. You've you've tweeted about it. Like I don't care anybody said. I don't care what anybody says. Like this is a direct quote she said years ago. I don't care what anybody says. Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez are the um, teenage dream love story or some shit like that. I can't remember exactly what she said. So. You used to be one of those fans. I mean, you were just like super, super, you know, crazy and obsessed with Justin. So I just think it's ironic that now she's talking shit about the fans and the selenators because you used to be one. You used to be a selenator, okay? So um, so I wanted to do a video about that because I just feel like it, it again, you get to see, you always get to see how people are and how they behave based on their behavior not what they say a lot of times you know people say certain things right and and they may even mean it or be adamant about it or whatever but at the end of the day their behavior shows how they really feel no one is bashing Haley uh Selena has never talked about her she's never addressed her one time I think when Haley came out and said something like I think this is the time when Haley, came, I mean, when Selena came out with "Lose You to Love Me," and Haley posted on her Instagram or Twitter account that the the that rapper and and put the a, a part of the lyric to the song to this rapper. I can't remember her name right now. And she said something like, "I'll kill you." Like if you so basically, this rapper says in her song, like if you come for my man, I'm gonna kill you, right? So she wrote that, and then soon after that she deleted that and then people came after her and said we saw what you said is that about selena is that your response to selena's lose you to love me because lose you to love me is literally was so evident that selena's talking about justin and their relationship and then she deleted that post and then she said something like um no there is no response there is no reaction this is bs get a life whatever right so that's what I'm talking about. Like she never, she Selena's never, never, ever said anything about her. And then after that whole thing went down, Selena actually went on live. I think she did Instagram live, if I remember correctly. And she was like, "I don't stand for any woman tearing each other down, te tearing each other down. Please don't be mean to each other. You know, I'm all about empowering women and all that stuff." And then, which she later on did for Demi Lovato as well. When Demi Lovato, I think, uh, um. Uh, performed for either the Grammys or the AMAs I think it was for the Grammys and she Selena wrote on her picture caption thing like you know the, you're you're so powerful and an amazing beautiful singer and I'm so proud of you and uh, all this like amazing things like and then and Demi never responded to that post so Selena never says anything bad about anybody like I don't know maybe she does in the behind the scenes you know what I mean I'm just saying on social media she never does. And the fact that Haley constantly talks about her, constantly alludes to the selenators, you know, bashing her, harassing her, etc. And then, but you don't really see that on the other side. It's just always Haley. But then Haley talks about how social media is just this toxic place and this platform is toxic and just like women tearing each other down. And it's like, you're the one that's talking shit constantly. No one's saying anything really to you. It's just, it's you. It's your own insecurity. It's your own, uh, you, you know consciously and subconsciously like Justin is not in love with you. He doesn't want to be with you. It was just like a replacement. He needed to replace Selena with somebody quickly because he needed that, he needed that supply. We talked about that on my channel about how narcissists are, they need to, they need that supply and if you take the supply away from them they're going to find it somewhere else right so and the other thing that I, that I think is interesting and I feel like it's kind of the vibe I'm getting from Haley is that I think Haley Baldwin Bieber whatever her fucking name is um is threatened by Selena Gomez because Selena is single as fuck if Selena was married with a kid I think she could kind of feel a little bit like okay I don't have to worry about her coming after my man. Do you know what I mean? Like your husband, your boyfriend, like their ex is Selena Gomez. 
you know what I mean? She's what followed by 200 million people. She, her music is amazing. Everyone loves her. No one says anything bad about her. No one hates her. Like the, the people that are hating on her and shading her are the people that are in, in, the, in the industry that have shipped with Scooter Brand, Braun or whatever his name is. So it's that feeling of like, if, if he basically brainwashes his people and clients and say, if you're not with me and I'm not your manager, you're shit basically okay and and so the reason i think demi lovato is lately talking shit about um the jonas brothers and selena gomez and all those things and saying the only friend she has kept from back in the day is miley cyrus because she's cool and da 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 but in reality it's about the fact that selena is not with scooter can you imagine you guys if selena gomez was with, with scooter brought brown in like so, so it's it's Ariana and Demi and Justin and Selena. Can you guys can you guys imagine that scenario? That that that's definitely never going to happen. So um, I feel like that's why the shade is in regards to Selena from Demi and other people is because they're all with the same manager. Okay, so they're all with the same manager, and that's basically what it is. But I just feel like at the end of the day, spiritually, psychically, I just feel that. Haley is threatened by Selena because Selena is very single. She's not married. She's not with anyone, you know, and it's kind of like a threat. Like she could kind of come for Justin if she wanted to. I think I did a video about that. I, I did a video about Selena Gomez is coming for Justin uh, because when she did all those like photos and stuff like that and she was bomb and her butt looks amazing and I was just like, she looks bomb. I don't know if it's like edit it. I don't know what the fuck they did with those photos. She looks, she looks amazing. She looks really sexy and voluptuous and and beautiful and uh so anyway so i feel like that is probably what fuels Haley is the fact that selena is uh single and if she really wanted to get justin i guess she could you know what i mean if she wanted to kind of you know fuck with that whole thing the other thing that's interesting i uh you guys always send me these clips like i mentioned i'm not going to put it up here but maybe i'll put it on the facebook group um i saw this clip of justin on uh i don't know if it was facebook live or if it was instagram live but basically he's live okay and he's reading the comments and stuff that you know when you're live and you get all the messages and stuff and Haley, so justin's here Haley is here and justin is reading this comment uh saying oh we're twin sisters and we can't wait to come to your concert and it was hilarious like the reaction was hilarious because justin's eyes just kind of went like this like he's realizing that he's reading this out loud about twin sisters and i'm sure they're hot and pretty and young and Haley ha all of a sudden had a reaction to it and he noticed that and he kind of felt that intuitively and he did this kind of like a like a side eye thing to Haley, and then Haley gets in his face and stares him down live this is just fucking live okay there is so much tea in that moment that is just fucking like like she is so like fucking on his shit like listen honey you're if you're gonna go on this tour i'm gonna be up your ass no one's gonna be able to you know you're not gonna it's, it was that kind of a vibe you know what i mean and also Haley came out publicly and said i'm so happy and glad that justin canceled his tour I told you guys I feel like she wants to push him into retirement I think she wants to push him into like retiring retiring from music because she doesn't want to worry about obviously him having groupies and girls throwing themselves at him and things even though I will I am sure she will be going with him but if something happens with her with her and her profession whether it's the modeling thing or the skincare thing or whatever she wants if she's going to get if she's going to get busy she's not going to be able to be his shadow you know what i mean they're going to be busy and maybe in different cities and stuff and then that's when i feel like for sure justin will cheat on her no doubt about that and the reason they can't do anything right now or he can't do anything is because she's with them 24 7 in quarantine in canada so Anyways, I want to talk about that because I just feel like it's just so ironic and funny that she's 
constantly talking shit about Selenators and Selena Gomez in some way or shape or form. Every time she goes on, it's either I feel insecure because I, I'm constantly compared to Justin Bieber's ex-girlfriends, but we know it's Selena Gomez. Or, you know, they need to just get get their own lives. Get, get your own man and don't worry about my relationship. I'm we're adults and these kids are just, and it's like he's she's calling Selenators kids, even though everyone's pretty much like around the same age. They're 26, 27, 28 years old. Obviously they're not kids. And again, you don't have to be a fucking psychic to feel the energy and know that Justin and Selena have that 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 twin flame connection to each other. And maybe for the sake of the argument, I'm not trying to be psychic on this video, but maybe for the sake of the argument, they're going to go their separate lives. They're never going to get back together, right? But they're still going to have that connection to each other. Their their names are always going to be in a synonymous with each other. It's always it's like it's just always going to come up you know what i mean it's eight ten years of uh this romance this love that we saw between them so anyways i want to do a video about that uh because to me the reason i have no respect for for Haley is because i don't like when someone uh, is doing this victim thing you know what i mean like if you want to play a victim and just get people to feel sorry for you it's one thing but if you want to try to be savage and, and talk shit and put people on blast you know you need to you need to figure out which strategy you want to use you're either a victim and you're just a sweet innocent loving person that just like is like loves justin you just want the best for him blah blah blah, blah or you want to be savage because like i'm savage right i'm always savage on my channel i'm sassy i'm savage i don't give a fuck i say whatever i want so have you guys ever seen me behave that way? Have I ever been like, Ooh. like I, the only time I cry is when I'm emotional about a situation. But if I'm addressing psychically or talking about someone, I'm going to be savage about it because that's what this channel is all about. I speak the truth. I tell you guys how I feel, whether it's psychically or intuitively or my personal opinion. So I just feel like Haley Baldwin Bieber hell no needs to make a decision honey do you want to be a savage do you want to be a queen which because you're not or do you want to be this victim crying woo, 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 all the time about like oh you just had a hard time the first time well she also talked about that too like when i got with with when when we first got married i just had a complete me mental breakdown because how much hate i got what were you thinking why are you getting so much hate why why do you Haley, 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 are you watching this video right now are you watching this video right now, Haley? Why do you think you're getting hate? I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure that out, right? If you've been stalking Justin Bieber for like a decade or more, um, what are you thinking is going to happen? They were together all these years and then you came in there and you fucked the shit up. So what, what, what were you thinking? Like people as a side chick, like if someone, let's say in a family, a man cheats on his wife, and it's a huge family, right? And he he leaves the wife finally for the for the side chick, okay, for the slut, for the skink. Goes and marries the slut, the skank, the side chick. Do you think that his family is going to be supportive of him and the skank? No, right? It's just like it never happens. So unfortunately, Haley, I'm sorry to tell you, news flash, you're the skank, you're the side chick, you're the slut, okay? Um oh, I wasn't doing anything and I just waited patiently when we broke up. No, you were constantly instigating it. You, you guys all had mutual friends. You were trying to get Justin. You were trying to steal Justin. So come on. I know that you can lie to yourself or you're trying to you know, lie to Justin Bieber's fans that you just sat there patiently waiting for Justin to choose you, which is not true. And yeah kudos to you you know what i mean you got you got him kudos to you, you got him but we know why he got with her because selena kind of had an epiphany and self-realization a self-actualization that she was in a abusive relationship and she didn't want to be involved with it anymore and she was like good luck to you take care bye and he had to replace her with Haley. so anyways she has shaded selena so many times there's so many references to the things that she has said like she also said something about um uh oh you know time is not important like you could 
you could be with somebody in two months and feels like it's two years and she's obviously a reference to selena's lyrics you replace us in two months like it was easy it's like everything she says is in reference to selena so anyways i want to talk about it because i find her to be a a contrived lying ass bitch uh she is a hypocrite the reason i have no respect for Haley baldwin is because she has been stalking justin and selena for over a decade she got in with the mutual friends to kind of have a foot in the door nobody knew who the fuck she was honest to god when i used to watch e all the time and or tmz because i don't have cable anymore and i don't i don't watch regular tv i you know i watch netflix and amazon prime video or whatever when i used to watch like the whole like they're going to a club or they're going to get breakfast and all the paparazzi videos and things like that i used to see her with everyone nobody knew who she was there is videos of TMZ or paparazzi videos where they're they're yelling at her and saying who are you are you famous literally nobody knew who she was nobody knew who Haley was and she got in she got in she uh, was mutual friends with everyone she I did a video about how she was a soccer girl and uh, there's a picture of her she she's in the same picture with Selena and everyone else so so she got in and kind of just slowly just did it you know she got justin and i and i do believe that she stole justin from selena so anyways i just wanted to do this video because i thought it was so ironic that it's almost every other day in the news in the gossip world Haley's constantly whining about why she's getting hate and that the selenators need to leave her alone that they're adults and she's the wife now and they're married now and blah 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 and then how i love how they were just like we're just so in love and we're just like just so in love with each other and then finally it came out which is validation for me and all the things that i predicted about their relationship and then it came out in the facebook live reality show that they're constantly in therapy and having problems and and it's just it's just fucking it's, it's a fucking mess it's a fucking mess okay anyways i want to do this video for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it um let me talk a little bit about business first of all if you are new please subscribe share and like and turn on your notification bell so you guys are notified when i'm doing any bonus videos or my videos that gets published daily or the super chat live streams also I've created uh, a Facebook uh, page that basic Facebook group. I always say that a Facebook group called Alienator, so you guys can go there, continue the discussion. You can comment uh, down below, of course. Do comment down below for these videos. But I'm saying, if there's anything else you guys want to say, you can go there. the The group will, will be private in three days, um, and. Um, you can give me any ideas for videos or anything you guys want to discuss among yourselves i've created this this group for you guys to have um kind of like support you know for one another i want to empower you guys i want to help you guys out we are getting ready to um you know we're getting people's emails for anyone that wants to come on these webinars i want to start doing monthly as of next month which is going to be about you know power of like visualization meditation uh it's life coaching it's talking about law of attraction um so for all that information you can go to the facebook group uh to give us your emails and we'll tell you guys how that whole thing is going to get organized so it's really really exciting and that way i can help you guys do you know do um life transformation because i am really expensive privately and i thought to create this once a month to be able to access and help people on it on a larger platform okay so that's it anything else i want to say yeah i do my super chat live streams every morning monday to friday from not um, from nine I, I do it at 9 a.m i'm tired you guys I'm, i really need to take like a day off um i do the live stream super chats monday to friday at 9 a.m and then on the weekends it's at 10 a.m i was going to this is another thing i was going to tell you guys i was going to do um sunday guided meditation with you guys okay however i've decided not to do that because i want to use that as a course for the webinars okay so i know i told you guys and i know you guys were looking forward to that for sunday i'm so sorry i have hyped everyone up i have all these ideas that i get spiritually you know from the ether from spirit and they're amazing ideas and really cool ideas but i feel like that specific video 
we'll have more of a function for the webinars because the webinars are going to be about meditation and self-actualization and visualization and empowering you guys and teaching you guys how to shift your consciousness and your thoughts to create your own reality and I just feel like my channel I, I it's just it's it's going to get bombarded with so many different things and I'm just going to shift that into the webinars for once a month okay anyways I hope I you guys enjoy this video and if you guys are uh, curious about the lipstick, it's Lime Crime, and it's called Wicked. It's one of my favorite colors uh, to wear. And um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys. Hashtag Elinators. If you're new, please subscribe, share, and like. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. for our Super Chat live stream. Bye.